Yeah, I was asked earlier this evening what this poem is about, and I couldn't give an answer. So, don't ask me. Uh, just make of it what you will, I suppose. That is art after all. Uh, this doesn't really have a title either, let's just call it Pastel. I know you won't believe me when I say, don't be afraid. So instead I'll say, everything is temporary. Pebbles, dry leaves, yellowed letters and dusty shoe boxes. I know it's difficult. You become persuaded by the sway of the day by day and you take it on your back, flay by flay, whenever you pick up your crucifix. Far be it for me to accuse someone of small crosses. See, I can't count how many times I told myself, this is the worst day of my life. And that's all it is. A labeled speck and a collection of dust motes, so why do you insist on keeping them in glass cases? You store mispronounced names in the gazes of past faces, like butterflies with their wings thumbtacked to the wall, hoping someday you could trade these trinkets for truths or truces. And the world, don't get me started on the world. So much has been said about the rigidity of the city, but never about its malleability, about its softness, about how it never holds up and keeps form long enough to make a monument of itself. How it is evidence that if walls could talk, half their stories would be about getting pissed on. It's lit windows, like staring down steel barrels. It's institutions as welcoming as in-laws. It's roads as readable as holy text. And we lift this all up to make it lofty. No one can accuse anyone of trying to soften the concrete with the conceptual because that's what fluff is for, right? We are superfluously soft and we shut the door tight. And we walk into these upper class boutiques looking for the best hats to put on and we keep a spare face in the trunk for when the road gets too bumpy and we put a glass of it won't be long on the bedside table so we have something to slick ourselves every morning every time we reach out the self-set alarms i'm sorry for all these emperors strutting naked except for their weapons i'm sorry for the generations before us silver haired and frost talking the way they sit at the table looking at you like you are a graph of stocks crashing i'm sorry that the shadow of money hangs over us like a thundercloud the way you stick out your tongue hoping you are not left unquenched. The way you put on your best friend to walk among a hundred anxious clothes racks. Fed in a steady diet of orange juice and Prozac. Pancakes laid up in the table by someone doting and devoted. But you sleep until noon so you wake up to cold stacks. But it's not like you chose that. Recall a time when you were 11 years old and you spoke with the language of middle class cable cartoons. Why was I even born anyway? At the time, there was no other available point of reference. Now, you're staring down the bottom of bottles like you were looking through telescopes, like you were always looking for land, coughing up sea salt while searching for sand, going, we just passed this rolling wave, how could we be here again? We are pattern-seeking creatures, feasting on perceived consistencies. We get visibly pissed when living does not conform to our formulas, and our friends travel down the marks of our forearms like railroad tracks headed elsewhere. But you... For you to go on like this makes just about as much sense as pulling your tooth out and sticking it under your pillow hoping it grows into a more eloquent mouth. How far back inside yourself do you have to withdraw until you run out of space or until you find light or the love left inside you? So much love that could power a city. You with your high tail hope and your getaway gall, please don't go. You, with your diamond-studded words, and your cathedral hands, and your prism heart, the one that shines bright in all my caverns, won't you let me count on you the way I count beads between my fingers? You, with your eloquence, give form to my shadows to make them breakable. And I love your bright colors, your mustard yellow sweater and your pastel pink shirts, dressed for war against despair, won't you lie in the trenches with me? Won't you disarm me? I will do the same for you. We know better than to leave sharp, explosive things at our hands, and we are so tired of fighting, of fortune cookies, of astrology, of robes and scrolls, and so many valedictorian speeches before us. Everything is temporary, but we go into the world, sweet child of mine, we go into the world with gold light and guitar solos and whatever's left inside of us. Thank you. <laughs>